Hey guys, you're watching That Tattoo Chick. Um, I wanted to show you guys my altar. And in case you're wondering um, why my altar is in the shop, it's because I had nowhere else to put it. And it, my altar's like really cool because it just kind of opens up. Um, it's got this really heavy stone top on it. And it opens up and like all my stuff can go inside of it. And um, the top is so heavy that nobody really tries to open it. Nobody knows that it can be opened. So it's like really fucking sweet. It's like pow, you know, I don't know, fucking ninja wicca. It's cool. Nobody knows it's there. And it's there. It's pretty sweet. So anyway, lame, I know, but I'm excited about it. Okay, so I want to show you guys my altar setup. Let me see if I can do this. Hold on. Of course, I spend all my time at the shop anyway. Because I have no life outside of tattooing and this, pretty much. Yeah, let me see if I can back up a little bit so you guys can see all of it. Oh, this thing's kind of hard to maneuver. Stupid laptop. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, I don't know if you guys could see it really well, but um, I'm going to give you a close-up of some of this stuff. Um, this right here, this is my wand. Right there. Uh, it was handmade by a friend of mine. Um, yeah. And I really like it. It's nifty. Made out of rosewood. Um. And my athame, which was gifted to me by a friend of mine. It's really big, but um, it, it really meant a lot to the person that gave it to me. So um, I felt like I should honor it. And that was, you know, I mean, it was, it was a really emotional gift because it was actually given um, by a friend of mine who's, it, it belonged to his friend who was a shaman and um he passed away so it was it was a very i was very honored to get that um this right here is my mortar and pestle i use it quite a bit i like it crushing up herbs and stuff um let's see what else i can find here okay okay i have a little um wolf statue which sits in between um my god and goddess statues uh, and it's supposed to represent me because um, of course my totem animal is a wolf but yeah and I got a little cauldron and a uh, chalice and um, some candles and sensor and all that good stuff um, so yeah I have this huge crystal Hold on. that I actually found myself I was really excited about it this thing is huge and I just found it like just found it it was so neat um, just like on the ground and it, it, yeah, it was, it cut me as soon as I picked it up, but whatever, I decided, well, I'm keeping you and it's been really helpful to me ever since. I found this thing when I was like 14. It's been great. I love this crystal. Um, so yeah, another thing I wanted to show you guys is, um, my grandmother actually got me a pinnacle and it's kind of cool because she's Catholic. And so it's not like a, you know, I don't know. It's it's really pretty. I like it. And she even picked out the chain and everything. Like, yeah. It's really nice. Um, made me really happy because she's been the first person to really accept, you know, my spiritual, my spiritual path. Out of my family besides my little sister, who is amazing, by the way. So... I thought that was really cool and really thoughtful, and so I decided to um, keep it. I'm sorry I keep messing with my hair. It's been a long day, and I feel like I look grungy, so. Okay, another thing I wanted to show you guys was um, I got this shell for burning um, sage, white sage in, you know, when you're, like, purifying an area. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this. It's pretty hefty, too. It's, I mean, it's a pretty thick thick shell. It's not um, the traditional kind of shell that's used, which I can't remember the name of right now. But yeah, it's still pretty nice. I like it. Um, also, I had some people ask me um, how many tattoos I have. Um, so I just decided I'd probably include it in this video. Um, surprisingly, I don't have very many. I only have like eight, um, which isn't a lot 
for a tattoo artist. What can you do? <laughs> um, probably could tattoo myself if I really wanted to, but for some reason that just doesn't appeal to me. Um, it's a lot easier to have somebody else do the work for you because, you know, whatever. Um, but anyway, so yeah, um, in previous videos, I know that I showed you guys um, my coven initials on my wrists. <clears throat> So that's two of them. And then I have a wolf tattoo with um, my Indian name and the banner, which is Lightning Bolt, my Cherokee name. So that's pretty cool. I also have a yin-yang on my shoulder and the word love that goes down my spine. That hurt kind of bad. <laughs> um, and then on my left calf, I have my goddess. Um, and I'm supposed to be getting my god on my right calf. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And the symbolism behind that is like they're the pillars that hold me up. So I thought it was appropriate to put it on, put them on my calves. And the other two that I have are kind of inappropriate to talk about on YouTube. So there you go. Um, I also, I also have um, I got a new piercing, and it's a microdermal snap insert well let me see if I can there you go it's red eh to be completely honest I didn't even really want to get it but that kind of thing hasn't caught on in Arkansas yet because Arkansas is slow and backwards just saying and uh, so I was kind of a, a guinea pig and I mean it's healing up really nice it hasn't given me any problems it's fine. Not bothering me at all. Um, it's gotten a lot of attention so far, a lot of attention. People asking me what it is, and they're like, holy crap, I've never seen that before because this is Arkansas, and Arkansas sucks. But anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, we're doing some new stuff. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, yeah. Well, I hope you guys liked my altar, and I hope that you guys are all doing well and you're staying warm and healthy and merry meet merry part till we merry meet again blessed be and ciao